Welcome everyone, this is Polyp Needles, and today we are starting a new series here in Dungeons and Dragons Online, Vecna Unleashed, where I'm going to be returning to my Dragonkin Artificer, who is going to explore what is happening when Vecna is unleashed. And so let's talk to Cephelsa here, let's see what she has to say. Welcome to Morgrave University. It's an exciting time. The university is hosting the Codex of Infinite Planes, which we have stored safely under lock and key. Oh, that's good here, considering how much trouble I went through in assembling that thing in the first place. There has been no sign of Vecna since he stole the planar eyes. All we need to do now is wait until the gatekeepers from the Shadow Marches arrive to retrieve the Codex from their Stormreach brethren. Yet, we must stay on our toes, adventurer. A threat to the Codex's safety could be around any corner. Will you join us in protecting it? Yes, uh, let's do that. Let's get started. How should I protect the Codex? To start, why don't you go and check out on the Codex? Right now, it's being guarded in the rare books room. Only select highly qualified personnel are allowed inside. However, that won't be a problem for you. Uh, talk to Crichton Ebenor and learn about our security precautions. Well, I guess it's intended to be Crichton. I mean, otherwise it would be Crichton. I can't even pronounce that. Okay, let's go with Crichton. Ah, here's Crichton now. Ah, oh, Pine Frost. I take it you're here to help with the security details? More grave than the gatekeepers have put the Codex of the Infinite Plays, it plays into temporary storage here at the University. Because the artifact is so dangerous and More Grave's reputation is spotty, various organizations in the city are demanding high security. The Twelve will be part of the security initiative, and so should you. Alright, I guess I'm up for, up to it, locking the codex down. Uh, where is it now? Margrave is storing the codex in the rare books room. Is an offshoot to the main university library that you can reach by using the sky coach over there. The Twelve is helping Morgrave set up some magical security equipment to keep it under control. So, I will meet you there. Alright, got it. I'll meet you in the Rare Books Room. Here we are in the Rare Books Room. This is where Morgrave is holding the Codex of the Infinite Planes. A complex magical mechanism has been placed next to the evil artifact. No doubt some kind of security device. A member of the Twelve nods you over, eager to discuss your duties. All right. See, even the DM isn't willing to read the name. Oh, all right. Let's see what we have here is Jocelyn Dzevis. Isn't it magnificent? Just imagine it. An infinite book with infinite pages. All of the knowledge of all the planes in one place. If only I could have a week, a day, an hour with it. Uh, be careful. Even in its damaged state, the Codex is extremely dangerous. Oh, don't worry. They're about to activate the Implement Field Generator. Oh, Dispelment Field Generator. I just wanted to see the Codex up coast while I can. My one chance to admire it and to dream. Okay, just don't touch it. The sooner the gatekeepers have the codex out of charm, the better. And here it is the damaged codex of the infinite planes. Rips his gorgeous mark uh, uh, mar the codex. Traces of the damage done by the devil's failed experiments. Yet, the defaced book still exudes the powerful aura as you draw near. Whispers of it, of its evil linger in your mind. Uh, okay, let's leave it alone then. 
right, and here is Craig Evanor, and speaking with him is one of my goals. Ah, you're just in time, Pine Frost. We're about to begin. Once we activate the Dispelment Field Generator, anyone who approaches the Codex should be safe from its evil influence. Then, all you need to do is protect the Codex. A straightforward guard duty, really. I'm sure an adventurer like you can handle it easily. In other words, I should invite a cleric to join us. Alright, now that I've invited a cleric to join us, uh, let's get back to this. Yes. Okay, and who's that standing next to the codex page? I guess they're talking about the woman I was just speaking with. Oh, that's Morgrave's head librarian. Uh, you needn't worry about her. She's been thoroughly trained in handling magical artifacts and... Uh, Jocelyn, what are you doing? You mustn't get so close. Uh, yeah, don't touch it, it's evil. The librarian suddenly grabs the book. What? No, I won't let him do that to you. We'll escape together before he gets here. A burst of powerful magic knocks you down. When you find your feet again, you see that the librarian has run off with the Codex of the Infinite Planes. Or has the Codex run off with the librarian? I suspect the latter. All right, well, that didn't work too well. Okay, let's see. So I need to subdue a librarian, speak with the Vigilant, and secure the Codex of the Infinite Planes. Yeah, simple, right? Don't try to stop us! We command the power of the planes! Here's a page out of the Feywild to slow you down! What Summon Fey of here and spring to the attack. Oh boy. Yeah, good thing I got. <laughs> ah. Oh, it, it's a good thing that I. <laughs> that I brought the cleric along, and that was going to come in handy quite a bit. What have we got here? Oh, notes. I'm supposed to. Optional. Read all the notes. President E. Morgan. The library would be delighted to host the Codex while the gatekeepers visit here. You need not worry about security. We've consulted with the Twelve, and we believe that we have a solution. I look forward to being able to examine the Codex in person. What a fascinating tome. Jocelyn DeCivis, head librarian. Oh, you, they should have taken that as a danger sign, I think. Yeah. Curiosity. Curiosity killed the librarian or something? Well, maybe something like. Uh oh. Here she is. The librarian snatches the loose codex page the gatekeeper was guarding. Look! One of the pages that was cruelly torn from you! What? what? What's that? There are more! Oh, we must find them! The librarian stops in her tracks, completely absorbed by her conversation. Meanwhile, the gatekeeper desperately tries to get your attention. Just a moment. I need to speak with you. All right. She seems to be obsessed with finding the loose codex pages. We can use that to our advantage. There are three more pages here at Morgrave. Pages we've temporarily lent out while we're here. Lady Sarah Jamis is using one for a lecture. Fox Paul, uh, you know him, right? He's studying one in a. Oh no! <laughs> Bad things always happen when he's studying codex pages. And we lent one to um, Aram. It's in the Aram Welcome Center over by the Hall of Concord. Uh, you need to get those codex pages. We can use them as bait. All right, fine. So she'll go after the pages. Fine, fine, fine. But then what? Take the three codex pages to the Hall of Concord and place them in the dis dispelment field generator. She'll come over there to investigate. When she does, activate the generator. 
it will dispel the enchantment the Codex has placed on her. That should snap her out of it. Then we'll treat the Codex and secure it again. Alright, fine. I'll get those Codex pages and take them to the Hall of Concord. Oh, I really should have. The librarian finally snaps out of her stupor. Yes, we'll track the pages down! I cannot see them clearly. Show me the way! She runs off, searching for more Codex pages. Wonderful. Simply wonderful. I just make sure there aren't any more notes here. Somebody's throwing fireballs. Is that my cleric or. Oh. Uh, no, it's a. It's a sprite, I think. Okay. Anything else around here? Uh, let's see. Actually. Oops. Uh, I was hoping to check something there, but apparently I won't have a chance to do so. No, stop that! Stop it! Stop it! I think they have a storm singer in there somewhere. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh. Hey, oh. Killed them all? Oh, oh, I've got flies on me. No wonder. Alright. Oh, okay. The flies are gone. That's good. Alright, nothing here of interest. So I guess we go this way. Yeah, there's the librarian. <gasps> They're still after us! What? What? What's that? Very well. This time, we'll try the power of chaos! Wonderful. More summoned creatures appear, and to your astonishment, the magically warded librarian makes her escape by crashing through the window. Oh, uh, that's, that's what you get when you unleash chaos, I guess. Ouch! It's been a while since I played the Artificer, so <laughs> especially a high level one, so hmm. I think this is going to take a while. Alright, let's see. We've got on the here and she jumped down. I think she said jump down the balcony. Make sure there isn't anything here before I jump down the balcony to follow her. President I'm still trying to figure out that name. President Il Morgrave? Okay, President Il Morgrave, I must protest your reckless decision to bring the Codex here. Have you forgotten the university's disastrous experience with the planar eyes? Not only will the Codex draw the attention of the entirety of the entity known as Vecna, but the book itself is said to exert a malign influence on everyone around it. You must stop this folly. If you wish to discuss it further, contact me before I return to Korenberg. I plan to be far, far away when the inevitable happens. <laughs> um, Cairo Harleyan, visiting scholar. Okay. In other words, he thinks that something bad is going to happen. I mean, what's, what could possibly happen? I mean... A librarian steal the codex page or something like that while under the control of the page? I mean, surely nothing like that could possibly happen, right? Yeah. Actually, I wanted to see. There's the persistence bonus, flawless victory bonus. There. Traps, secret doors, four breakables. Only four breakables smashed. 19 monsters killed. Haven't got one of the bonuses yet, but the bonuses 
are now at a more regular pace than they were in the past. Or at least I got the impression of that. Gah! If bringing creatures from other planes doesn't stop you, then we'll send you to other planes instead. The librarian summons some kind of magical field, then runs off. Oh, wonderful. What was that? Oh. The Traveler. Sovereign of Chaos and Change. There you are. I was waiting to see when you would show up on this path. We have much to talk about, and I... I, I see that you're confused. Uh, don't you know who I am? Uh, uh, um, um, yeah, uh, sh sure, sure, I know you're, 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 uh, green hat guy, good old greeny. Ah, yes, the hat. I it's supposed to be a minor clue to those who are a bit inattentive. Yes, but I can see it how it might grab the spotlight, uh, perhaps in times to come, and takes tales be no longer be told about the traveler. Instead, the legend would be about Green Hat Guy. Anyway, I can see that you're distracted. Uh, we'll talk again when you have less on your mind. Oh, okay, fine. Gotta go. I got a codex to pick. catch. <laughs> I have a codex to catch. Surely nothing will go wrong when I enter this thing, right? Uh-oh. Looks like... The shadow fell. Oh, not this place. Uh, we are really far away, Zenny. Hey, is it the shadow fell connected to? Well, this is the codex of. Oh, come on, stop that! Oh, uh, I hate the shadow fell. Ah, <laughs> uh, now how many levels did I lose in that? Oh, looks like I got them back now. All right, the shadow fell. Yeah, I really don't like this place. Anyway, isn't this a Forgotten Realms place? Which is why I forgot about it. Oh. All right, all right fine. I I need I need something better for this because it looks like this. Repeating heavy crossbow, holy three. This weapon could be undead bane three. Well, it's good against undead. It's also a level twelve weapon. Maybe I need something better at some point. All right. It's amazing I haven't updated this weapon since. Okay, fine. I'll just ignore the thing. I can do that. Oh, now you decide to come after me. Fine. Oh. I'm just using up my bolts quite quickly, aren't I? Oh, well. Let's get back through here. Oh, well. uh, I, I don't like anything that gives me negative levels. Th these things are annoying. Oh, oh, strength damage. Yeah, well, uh, still pain. Oh. H how's my strength doing? Nine, negative one. Mm. Where does it show how much strength damage I have? I don't know. Oh, oh, got to right click in order to... No, that's not what I wanted to do. No, no, out of there. Okay. Uh, 
just says base 10. It doesn't say. Oh, it says right click to view tomes and tome upgrades that permanently increase. Oh, that's, that's what that was for. I thought it was going to. I was hoping for some details. Okay, fine. We're just, we're just grabbing platinum here and there. Mage armor. Oh, I'll, I'll take the star sapphires. Anything in there? Nothing down there. Where is she? Uh -oh. More shadows. Well, the trouble is hitting them. When I hit them, I seem to do a lot of damage to them. The problem is, I keep on hitting, missing them. Take a while. It'll take too much time. Oh, I was only a corner away from getting out of this place, maybe? I hope I don't have to go into there again. You're back? Huh. Oh, to the abyss with you! Uh, oh, why not? And the plane of water, too! Oh, boy. She had to take that too literally, didn't she? You suddenly find yourself completely submerged, as if you've been transported to the elemental plane of water in the wink of an eye. Wonderful. To the abyss. Apparently the watery abyss. Well, it looks like... Looks like I don't have wa breathing issues. I guess I don't know how the watery plane works. Maybe it must have something where... Uh, what's this? Is that going to be taking me to the abyss or something? Or is this something else? Alright. <sighs> Nothing there. So let's continue on our way. Nothing in these doors. Anything here? Okay, I think this is a dead end, right? No, it's not. All right, let's go. Right hand rule. Let's right hand rule this. Oops. Water elementals. <sighs> oh, there's our favorite librarian. Hi! Bye! Well, actually, it might be that I need to also find these other people. I still need to... So, see, subdue the librarian, collect codex pages, find Lady Sarah Jameis. So perhaps I should try to avoid these things for now and try to collect pages. And maybe we could lure her to some place more to our advantage. Unfortunately, she seems to be guarding the area rather well. What's down that way? Hmm. Which plane am I on now? Oh! Of course, the abyss! She did say to the abyss with you! Uh, I should remember that! You're not sure where this desolate clifftop might be. Judging from the demon population, though, 
It's probably some layer of the abyss. Yeah. Oh, oops. Oh, no. Uh oh, ouch, 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 ouch. Yeah. Two, okay. Ah. Well, yeah, some layer of the abyss. How about if we go up or down or through whatever this way? Oh. Uh, that just slows him down, right? Uh, no, not at all. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> Do I have a rune arm? I know they made some updates to rune arms. Uh, I think I've had a thing where I've been not using mine all that much. In fact, I think I can see the problem. Oh, here it is. My rune arm is Corruption of Nature. This is level 15 rune arm. Okay, fine. I just had to remember how to use these things, right? All right, well, I'll, I'll just have to work on this. I can only hope that it works better than they used to. But anyway, I'll see if it does anything useful for me. Oh, hey. But what happens if I go here? Well, I am beyond that point. Did I do anything? Apparently not. Well. Dretches, dretches, and more dretches. Ah, a shrine. Who knows if I'm ever going to get another chance to use one of these. It appears that there are three branches from where we were, and I want to guess that each of the three people we need to find will be found in that d particular direction. I guess we'll find out the hard way. You're still hounding us? Then I need something bigger. Uh, yeah, that's bigger. Uh, yeah, much bigger. Well. Yes? Uh, we'll find your pages in a moment. I just need to get rid of this annoyance first. A purple worm! Where do you think those pages are? At first, you think the librarian has been distracted by her deranged conversation with the Codex. But then, a massive nightcrawler bursts out to attack you. A nightcrawler. Okay, I guess a nightcrawler is... a nightmare version of a purple worm? If you needed anything... If a purple worm needed a nightmarish version, that is. It, it's definitely not anything one wants to encounter. Especially at nighttime. There you go. Oh. Brace yourself for another attack, but none comes. The librarian is now completely engrossed in her dialogue with the evil artifact. No, 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 that's a hundred leagues away. Show me the pages near where I am. We haven't much time before he arrives. All right, now. Apparently my cleric didn't fare too well in that. Hey, you, you want to use this thing? Oh. 
Where'd you go? I thank you. Ah. A useful time to have a mass heal. Now, while she is engrossed in that conversation, let's see what we could do here. Hall of Concord. Oh, this is where I need to eventually bring uh, the pages. Right? So now I gotta get to the other two locations. Here's a corridor I haven't tried yet. What do we need here? Oh, shadows. Ah. There you go. Uh, that, that woke them up. Come on, come on. Ah. These are tedious to fight. Very tedious to fight. Extremely tedious to fight. Oh, hold on. Let's see. Oh well, now where were we? Ah, uh, let's see. Do I have. Let me check my weapons. Just make sure I don't have a ghost touch weapon sitting here because I really could use one at the moment. Corruption of nature and. Petrifying repeating heavy crossbow of dead. No, that's not going to help me in the slightest. Alright. Hmm. Where are we now? Well, one of the pages is here. A kobold bearer. So you have a couple of kobolds here. Ah, Lady Sarah Yamas, Morgrave University researcher. Ah, you're too late. My lecture on the most amazing artifact discoveries is over. Though I'm teaching another section in a couple of hours. You might be able to squeeze in the back. I'm not here for the talk. I need the codex uh, that you're using. It's... Oh, nothing? Oh, take it. I thought it might be good up here with the other artifacts, but it turns out it's just a big, boring sheet of lead. Now, the giantish head, on the other hand, it's practically screams Zendrick. The thrill of the jungle, mysteries of the past, and all that rot. Okay, I just want the page, uh, not a lecture. The lecturer says you can take the codex page she was using as a prop. Right. Fine, that's one codex page collected. Now, I suppose that means... Oh. Well, I still need to find Fox Paul. There we go. So I guess it's back down this way. Oh, fortunately there's a shortcut here and I don't need to go through one of those two planes in order to get to the other side of the hall. How nice! Oh, what's down over this end? Probably Foxpaw, right? No red caps. And, and, a, and a Sprite Storm Singer, apparently. Ouch! Okay, let's get rid of that Sprite first. Ugh. All right. You get out of the way. All right. Now, your turn. Ah. <sighs> Fine. I've got... What have I got here? Okay, fine. That seems to work. 
Alright, so what have we got this way? Red caps, what do you think would be this way? Oh. <sighs> I mean. This is trying to get me back for all the fun I had with the storm singer, right? Get out of there. Okay. You get out of there. Did I just run outside of her range of effect for a mass heal? Uh, thank you. Alright, now. Where were we? See, I've been this way, right? Oh. But I haven't been this way. Ah, uh, nothing of interest. Oh uh, well, I thought there'd be something interesting there. What about this direction? I was hoping I could find Fox. Oh, Foxpaw might be behind. The oh, there are two doors. Maybe one has Foxpaw and one has. Oh, a restroom. Well. We may be here later. Okay, what's on this direction? Red caps. Those sprites are... Those sprites are annoying! There you go. Oh. Hello, Red Cat. You got enough of those. Between the sprites and the Red Caps, I am getting distracted. Well, I guess that's the purpose of it. There we go. Oh, ho, another one of those things. Ah, a page! A, or I should say a note. Hold on. Hey. How about you do... There we go. Now! Now let's see what's in the note. Wargrave provided lab facilities. So begin testing a sample codex page. Initial results are very troubling. Detected unusual magic signature in the codex. Powerful and evil. But also detected another magical resonance. Only seen if it just before taken taken to Isle of Dread. Well, oh, only s yes. My interpretation, Vecna is coming. Oh, wonderful. Well, that had to be Foxball who wrote that down. He says something it's only seen before at the Isle of Dread. So this must be Foxball's wing. Maybe he's upstairs. At Oh, Foxball. Hi there. Ah, Pine Frost. Uh, just who I wanted to see. Uh, what do you know about these creatures appearing out of nowhere? I came to Charm with the gatekeepers, and the university was kind enough to lend me this laboratory so that I could continue examining codex pages. Uh, but I don't think I'm responsible for these creatures showing up, uh, at least not this time. That is, uh, mostly because I haven't actually started my experiment yet. Oh, I don't have time to explain, but the codex has escaped. I need to borrow that codex page to recapture it. <laughs> escaped? Uh, that sounds serious. I even in its damaged state, who knows what the codex can do? Uh, you're better equipped to deal with this than I am. Take the codex page. Uh, if you think you could help, okay. I'll be right back. Assuming the codex page doesn't turn me into a puppet as well. Alarmed, Foxpaw urges you to take the codex page he was studying. Alright, fine. That takes care of that. I'm back in the room with the librarian because... I missed a door. Maybe this is to the welcome center. I hope so running out of options here. Alright, now what do you got? How am I doing on this? I've got my ransack bonus, so we must be getting near the end on that matter. 
And onslaught bonus plus fifteen. Okay. But though it looks like I do need to face more of these slots. So at least they're at least they're corporeal. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know. You're having a bad day also. I understand. We're all having a bad day because of this codex thing. There you go. How about that for a little bit of rest? At the request of the Platinum Concord, we subjected the codex pages to extensive tests. Because the matter is so urgent, I will briefly summarize our findings. Yes, the Codex is indeed extremely powerful, but we also found that the Codex is sentient. It has a will of its own and a strong urge to control those around it. If you do not wish to become the Codex unwilling slave, I suggest destroying the Codex page immediately. This branch of the Akram should also make, make removing the Codex from Sharn its top priority. Ideally, we should use a disposable proxy for this, as any Artrum member would be at risk for becoming a sprawl. Wonderful. Simply wonderful. Alright. Well, do I just take it? Or, oh no, this guy. Kalfum Oriak, High Priest of Kol Koran. Oh, wonderful. Oh! I forgot to bring out my... That's how long it's been since I played an artificer. I forgot about my dog. Huh. I went through this entire dungeon without even thinking about it. Ah, it's you. When those monsters started materializing out of thin air, I should have expected you to show up in their wake. Well, adventurer, uh, do you have a plan to deal with this? I assume is due to the Codex of Infinite Pages. Yeah, I need the Codex page that you have. Um, and I'm willing to do anything to get it. Oh, calm down. Yes, the University lent the, uh, lent the Aram this Codex page. Uh, we are collectors, after all. Yet, having studied it, I'm more than willing to return it. The page is a powerful magical artifact, true. But I'm much prefer magical artifacts that I can control, not ones that will end up controlling me. Alright, I'll take it off your hand. To your surprise, Kalf and Riek allows you to take the Codex page the Orem had collected. Alright, so now I've got this. Let's guess, take this now. Slay the Vortex, the Water Weird, and read all the notes. I guess the last note's probably gonna be on the other side of this. Can I get through there now? Oh. Okay. Now, where do I take this? Over to here? It's to bait. Alright, let's see. Secure the codex. Do I secure it in here? If you place the codex pages that you collected here, it should attract the attention of the librarian. Activate the mm, dispelment field generator when she's nearby to dispel the magic the codex is using to control her. You place the codex pages on the device. This immediately draws the librarian's attention. What's that over there? More of your pages! Let me get them for you. The dispelment field flickers to life as you pull the switch. Breaking the Codex's hold on the Librarian. What? What, what am I doing out here? <laughs> Why isn't the Codex in the Library? While this crisis is over, it's clear you'll need to find a permanent way to deal with the Codex and its corrupting aura. Uh, that's for sure. Whee! Oh well. Unfortunately... Nothing in there like a ghost touch weapon. Oh well, we're done with this quest. What other mischief is this codex page going to cause?
Perhaps we'll find that out in the next episode of Vecna Unleashed.